a few patients uh, came in with the uh, home sperm test results and um, wanted to make sure that that is a valid assessment of the uh, sperm quality and uh, prognosis. Uh, I think uh, it is better than not knowing uh, whether there, there are sperm and there are moving sperm. Uh, however, that doesn't replace the uh, formal uh, semen analysis in, in, in the fertility center like ours because semen analysis includes uh, very com comprehensive evaluations in different uh, parameters. Uh, minor parameters include uh, semen color, odor, viscosity, local infection time, pH, any kind of infection. But uh, major pri parameters we look at are uh, semen volume. It is very important that uh, we want to make sure some minimum volume is present uh, in the natural setting. Uh, and sperm count. We want to see the parameters uh, that based on the most recent WHO criteria, we want to see at least 15 million per ml uh, sperm count. And the uh, movement of the sperm, um, the, I think the home kit will they'll say there are moving sperm, but we want to know a little more details about the breakdowns. Uh, fast movers, uh, medium, slow, forward, forwarding movers, then there are a type of sperm that move, but they don't, don't make any forward progress. Also, we want to see what percentage of them are really not moving. So that gives us a, a better understanding of what kind of quality of sperm we're dealing with. And morphology, the shape of the sperm, uh, which also pay, we pay attention to, that is, that is not something that home kit will tell tell the consumers, you know, what kind of morpholo morpholo morphological features the sperm have. So it doesn't totally replace um, the professional results, but I think the, uh, for a starter to get some idea that, um, you know, whether the sperm are present and approximate quantity and, and what kind of moving sperm are there, I think that probably is the extent of it.